Two scientists will share this year's Nobel Prize for Physics. Uh, the Japanese and the Canadian physicists have been working out how tiny particles called neutrinos whiz around in space. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics to Takaaki Kajita and Arthur B. MacDonald for the discovery of neutrino oscillations, which shows that neutrinos have mass. Now, what does all that mean? Well, Takaki Kajita did the early work on neutrinos, these tiny particles, they sometimes call them ghost particles. They are the building blocks of matter. He did his research at a purpose-built underground laboratory a kilometre beneath a mountain in central Japan. Then we've got the Canadian Arthur MacDonald, who was also awarded the prize, who demonstrated that neutrinos from the sun don't disappear on their way to Earth. They change form instead. This is why they're called oscillating neutrinos. Together, the work of the two men overturned the prevailing theory that neutrinos have no mass, and it's forced physicists to reconsider the fundamental makeup of the universe. Previous discoveries of subatomic particles and how they behave have led to new technology for the treatment of diseases like cancer. I spoke to Kate Shaw earlier, who's a particle physicist at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, they call that CERN, and she explained more about these mysterious neutrinos. The first thing to understand about them is that they're fundamental. You can't break them into smaller pieces. Another thing to know is that there's literally thousands of billions going through our bodies every second. They're one of the, the most common particles in the universe. So what we saw with the, the neutrino oscillations is that the neutrinos come in three types of flavors. They come as an electron neutrino, a tau neutrino, and a muon neutrino neutrino but you can think of them as just three different flavors of ice cream if you want so the interesting thing is is that the neutrinos are oscillating so changing between these three identities so this is very interesting and very mysterious and we still don't understand why so this fundamentally changes our, our understanding of matter in the universe um, so previous to understanding that neutrinos oscillate uh, we thought that neutrinos had no mass just like photons have no mass and this is dictated by our, our fundamental theory of the universe. So finding out that they do oscillate, this means that they must actually have mass. And this has changed everything uh, in the standard model of particle physics.